Howdy, I'm Mikey Diaz. This week, nominations for the 2018 Tony Awards were released. The musical adaptation of Mean Girls and SpongeBob SquarePants lead the pack with 12 nods each. Nice! In other news... Artificial intelligence is taking over society as we know it. It's in our phones, computers, cars, and even in our speakers and televisions. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is exerting itself into modern society in a way it has never before. I just decided to meet with NHS's own technology expert, Jonah Niels Murphy, to learn more. So the modern definition of artificial intelligence is a programmed neural net, or programmed series of relations between different things to recognize that can then be used to pick out specific traits. In today's world, I see AI being used everywhere. If you use Google, if you use Siri, if you use Google Assistant, if you look at weather patterns that have been analyzed by a computer, chances are there's an AI looking at it and trying to figure out what's happening next. But what will AI look like in the future? I connected with Joseph O'Rourke, professor at Smith College, to learn more about AI and its role in modern society. Well, it's, uh, it is everywhere, and some of it is, is for the good. Um, marketing, it's being used, but it's also being used by the military quite a bit, and uh, there's some scary possibilities out there. Uh, a lot of the funding in robotics is, is from the military. One set of beliefs is that there will be some point at which, uh, it's sometimes called the singularity, where com the computers get so intelligent that they can just take off and start improving themselves. There are other people who believe this will never happen, uh, no matter how long. And then the third group is more like, this may happen in, say, 100 to 500 years. I think there just has to be a general recognition that some things are inappropriate and, and the governments of the world have to pay attention to it. For example, with self-driving cars, I think it's, it's almost ridiculous that we've just let this go to the point where someone is killed without there being uh, any significant controls or leaving it up to each individual state. Artificial intelligence is becoming smarter and smarter every year, but does it resemble the same level of intelligence as a human? I met with Alexa to learn more about her. Alexa, who are you? I'm Alexa and I'm designed around your voice. Alexa, what do you do? There is a lot I can help you with. You can ask me things like, what's on TV tonight? Order a pizza or give me an Easter egg. Hey Alexa, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, let's play. Three, two, one, paper. Thanks for watching. I'm Mikey Diaz and I'll see you next week on In Other News.
much. And so uh, that's a problem. But So certain states would pass laws and other states wouldn't. So then Google can test its cars in Arizona, but not in Missouri or something like that. It, it doesn't make sense to me. So it's a, it's a kind of dangerous time, I think, it, it, because the, they, the com programs are accelerating very fast. Um, earlier this week, you also interviewed like on camera um, Alexa. Oh, did, did you? Um, yeah, that was exciting. Yeah. Um, is there anything that it's kind of sort of funny is there anything that you would like to say to Alexa about this? <laughs> well, uh, there are um, complex syntactical sentences, which we have absolutely no trouble understanding, that a system like Alexa can't handle. And uh, it, I would have to prepare a little bit to think about this, but um, to get the right syntax. but. It's not even that complicated. Like if you have a prepositional phrase, it can be moved within the sentence in certain places, but it can't be placed in other. And, and you know this when you're five years old. Um, but Alexis doesn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you have a sentence that is ambiguous in many ways, um, uh, but is disambiguated just because you understand English, then I, I would like to show that Alexa really has no clue what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's see. I don't know if I can remember any, but um, just some nice, friendly, you know, trash talk. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, no. I'm thinking of. There's an example of if a hunter has a buck in his pocket, and then the because of the context of hunter, you think a buck is a deer. But if it's in his pocket, it has to be a dollar. So there's an ambiguous word that can go two ways. But we have no trouble understanding that because we understand the semantics. And the semantics disambiguate the syntax. And that is an unsolved problem. <laughs> um, just one last thing. Um, is there anything that you feel like is really important to talk about, about artificial intelligence that you would like to share? I think there has to be a heightened awareness of of the dangers. And uh, I teach a course here on the impact of artificial intelligence on society. And I've taught it several times. And um, the, the students, I, in some sense, I would frighten the students by showing them these military robots, uh, which are amazingly competent and very frightening when you see them. They, they look like animals. Um, and get them frightened enough so that they can take a role in affecting the future of the governance of this. So I think there needs to be attention paid to the governance issues, just to control things. In the same way that we do with uh, other dangerous aspects of society, except for guns, which we don't control very well. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Thank you very much for you're, you're welcome. Being with us. Thank you. Good luck editing.